It's Thursday. I didn't realize you were trying to figure that out. I mean, as a, as a general rule, I'm basically always trying to figure that out. I know. Like, what day is it? I don't know. Uh, we got Will, Michael's back there, Roland and Dan, and then also we have Nikki and James. Hey, buddy. Hi. Hi. He, he says, please, please don't take my plastic away. I need, I need this right now. He's teething bad. He's so cute. Thank you. <laughs> this is, um, this is actually the the first lunch bunch that we've come to at Kaminsky's because we came here with uh, Emil and Masse like a week and a half ago. Yeah. And the sandwich that I raved about then, the Montauk, I was like, that's real good. I want to go there again. So we both got it. Yeah, we both. And Dan. And Dan. Yeah, even Dan got the Montauk. Yeah, it's good. Roland, Roland said he wouldn't get it because it's too messy. Yeah, yeah, messy. I can't do it. Sorry. I mean, Dan's got a beard. Are you saying I should shave for that sandwich? Is it worth it? Ponytail holder. I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not beating, tying it up or anything. All right? It's I'm not. I'm, I'm not doing beads. I'm not going to be a dwarf from Lord of the Rings. I'm sorry. Talk to me around, the, you know, Halloween or whatever. We'll talk maybe. Many, many, many hours later. So you probably were aware. Maybe you heard from somebody or something that um, I have an ear infection. It's true. Uh, when we got home from, uh, well, when we left, when we left lunch, we had a few errands to run. And then, um, when we got home, uh, I slept and I just kept sleeping and it's, I slept, I slept until 10. Um, and that's a long time. Uh, I had at least six, maybe more hours of sleep. Um, but I was just, I was exhausted. Mal tried to wake me up at one point and was like, Hey, you know, do you want to eat dinner? And I was, I was like, no, I'm, I'm just so tired. And, um, I think the important distinction to make is that like, I don't feel sick in a traditional sense. Um, cause to me, sickness is, is almost always affiliated with, I don't know, like cold, like symptoms. And I don't have any of that. I feel fine. Otherwise it's just, I've got you know, discomfort in my ear and, um, I'm tired. <laughs> I'm just, I'm, I'm actually quite exhausted. I guess the infection is just causing me to be really run down. Um, so I, I went back to sleep and I kept sleeping. Now it's, um, now it's after 10 and, uh, you know, Mal didn't eat dinner and she's hungry and I'm ready to eat. So we're going to go grab something because that had actually been the plan before was to go get something. And I didn't plan on sleeping all day, but, um, I did. So now we're going to go grab something and our options are pretty limited at night. So we've decided we're just going to go to Waffle House. And when we do that, we typically, um, extend the offer to Dan and Lindsay. So they're going to meet us there and enjoy either a late dinner or like a snack. Everyone needs a snack of waffle so uh yeah i feel i mean i feel better because i clearly needed some rest um but you know no one wants to sleep all day that's not great but it is what it is let's eat the waffle dan thanks for um for being here and you as well Lindsay. <sighs> I made it. I'm well, I mean, well, yeah, but you're. Thursday. I mean, yes, it is. It is. It is Thursday. It is Thursday. Yeah. yeah I mean, it's, much, it's a little late. Midnight is not a thing. Yeah, Lindsay didn't. Lindsay didn't make it to lunch this morning, so we just had to do dinner to fix. Fourth meal. <laughs> yeah. It's like twelve thirty. Do you think it's ten something? It was when we left. We sat and talked for a while, but that's all right. I was just, I spent most of the day asleep, so like any additional time that I could get to just not do that seemed beneficial. So I took it. <laughs> you want that jam? No, it's dropping. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose? No, but every time that happens, I remember you hate strawberries. 
one of the things that they told me would be helpful um, for me is if I got some yogurt. Well, specifically like probiotic yogurt, because when you're taking antibiotics, your stomach gets all messed up, and that this would help. So we've come over to Walmart in what is essentially like the middle of the night to try and pick out yogurt. Honestly, it makes me feel like I'm in college. Like coming to Walmart yeah. at this time of night, I'm like, and looking at yogurt of all things, I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I figure out what yogurt I want to eat. I ended up going with uh, Activia, by the way. You're welcome, Jamie Lee Curtis. Also, you'll notice behind me that we've uh, taken all of the cups off of the shelf and uh, all the mugs are over there on the counter. And the reason we did that, actually some of you, some of you probably know, because I've seen comments about this for a while. So we weren't the only people noticing, you guys saw it too. Uh, the shelf had started to bow. And actually it looks better since taking the stuff off. But when the, when the cups are up there, yeah, it was, uh, it's not looking good in the center there. So, um, today, where's the thing, Mal? What's over here? Today we picked up a, uh, an L bracket. So we can put this in the center and try and give it a little more support. Because we like this, we, we like having the stuff up there, but obviously we don't want to wake up in the middle of the night at some point because it crashed and, uh, you know, there's glass everywhere, so yeah, um, that that's gonna be the plan is to put that up on there soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but um, soon. In the meantime, uh, I'm feel right now the second I'm feeling okay. Obviously, it's late, um, and I've slept for a good portion of um, of the day. I think if I lay down, I could probably get to sleep. I really do. I'm tired. Yeah, and I'm sure you're tired. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. I might take care of just like one or two things real quick, and then I think I'm actually gonna try and sleep, and I, I think I can do it. And I may not sleep a super long time, but it's already one. So even if I slept like, if I slept just six hours, I would sleep until the morning, and then I could just get an early start tomorrow. So that might be my plan. It's It's been a weird couple of days. Being sick is never fun, but, um, you know, I'm hopeful that uh, I'll feel better tomorrow. Oh, and one of the other errands, I don't think I ever mentioned it, is uh, I said yesterday or two days ago that we couldn't find our car title, which is unfortunate but true. And um, we went to the DMV and just got a new one. So it, it was actually fairly painless, and the wait in the DMV was, like, really short. Really short. We were in and out in less than 20 minutes. We have a good DMV. We also have a good DMV. Shout out to those people. They're they're fantastic. I don't know if it's all of our state, but at least ours is like super tiny. Yeah. So they only really have seating for 10 people. Yep. In Appleton, where I grew up, they're seating for like 100. Oh yeah, and actually, um, I don't remember what it was for, but at some point I was at that DMV with you. Yeah. And I remember there being that much seating and thinking like, this is real different from the one that I know because uh -huh. Yeah, there's very small amount of seating in our DMV, and it's it's tiny, but it's efficient. And like I said, less than 20 minutes from when we parked the car, we were leaving, and that seems pretty good. Anyway, so um, at this point, everything's set uh, for um, all the car stuff. We just have to, you know, figure out exactly what we're doing and make that decision. But uh, when we do, if we want to, um, like when we when we get the car, if we want to trade in the Escape. We can, and um, we may elect to do that. Doing a private sale could be a little difficult just for the fact that like, I don't want anyone to come back and be like, there's stuff wrong with the car because I know there's stuff wrong with the car and I would tell them there's stuff wrong with the car, but there might be stuff wrong with the car that I haven't even seen yet. And to be frank, I don't feel like the car is terribly safe and I don't really want to put that on someone. I think that the escape would be best probably just scrapped. scrapped. I mean, it's an old car, it's had a lot of recalls, um, just being completely honest, there's been some things that have needed to be fixed in terms of like, Ford mails you the thing, it's like, there's a safety concern, and like, they've never, they've never been fixed. I mean, that's my fault, but that's alright, it's fine. Um, so that's one of the reasons I haven't used cruise control in a few years, is that there was a thing that was like, hey, if you use cruise control, your accelerator can get stuck, and then you'll like, not be able to stop the car. So instead of taking it to a dealer, I was like, oh, okay, so don't use cruise control. And that's how I, that's how I live my life. It's a little indicator. 
So um, yeah, instead of instead of trying to put that evil on someone, I, I might just sell it to the dealership, even if it's not much, just because it would be done and dealt with and out of my life. And the difference in money that I would get from the dealer versus a private sale is not that extreme. Anyway, that car, for as good as it's been to us, is really not worth much money. So things to consider soon, because we'll be moving forward with the car stuff maybe in the next week. I hope so. We hope I so. We hope so. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, let's meet back tomorrow. Ciao.